welcome to Other World. Today, we're going to discuss the Hey everyone, we are the last group and for today, we will tackle all about the domain 7 which is all about the personal growth and professional development of teachers. So actually, there are four levels of teachers. So these are first, the beginning teachers. Next is the proficient teachers. Third is the highly proficient one and lastly, the distinguished teachers. Domain 7 has five strands and these are the philosophy of teaching which is the core beliefs and values in learning and teaching process. Second is the dignity of teaching as a profession. Dignity is one of the basic values of core teaching. Dignity which means respect for humanity. It is important that the teacher must have this value. And the third one is the professional links with colleagues or the professional relationships with colleagues. Fourth one is the professional reflection and learning to improve practice. It is the experiences that helps us reflect our, to ourselves and to improve our practice. The fifth one is the professional development goals or simply the career development. To continue our discussion, we will now resume to the competency indicators of every competencies in every strand. Guys, so for today, we're going to talk about the competency indicators of the Domain 7. So let's start with 7.1.1, which is articulating, articulating of the philosophies of teaching that aims a learner-centered learning. Next one is the 7.1.2, which is applying. Applying the philosophy of teaching after the teacher shows or displays his or her philosophies of teaching. 7.1.3 which is manifesting. Manifesting your philosophies is more than important than applying it in the class because your philosophies can also be seen through your actions. The last one is the 7.1.4 which is a model being a model is very important for the reason that you are a figure to follow or that you can also influence others to find their own professional philosophies of learning so the next trend is strand 7.2 dignity of teaching as a profession so as a beginning teachers teachers should demonstrate behaviors that strengthen the dignity of teaching as profession by establishing qualities. So a starting teacher needs to possess the behaviors that can strengthen the dignity of teaching as a profession by exhibiting such great qualities such as caring attitudes towards her or his students, not just to his or her students but also to her colleagues and to the people in her surrounding. The next one is being a proficient teacher. So uh, being a proficient teacher, they should embrace different practices that upholds the dignity of teaching as a profession by exhibiting qualities. As a teacher, having their own practices isn't bad, but embracing different practices are a lot beneficial not just for themselves but also to others. They need to embrace different practices that can strengthen the dignity of teaching as a profession by possessing the qualities such as having a caring attitude towards others and respects and integrity. 
So the next one is being highly professional. So highly professional teachers should identify and utilize personal professional growth to uphold the dignity of teaching as a profession to build a positive outlook not just for students but within the school. As a teacher, identifying and utilizing their own personal strength is a must so they can strengthen the dignity of teaching as a profession to build positive outcome not just for their students but also but also within the school so and lastly being distinguished teachers in strand 7.2 being a being a distinguished teacher they should be an epitome of dignity of teaching as a profession and be an advocate to build positive outlook within and beyond the school the teacher need to act and be a role model and an advocate for upholding the dignity of teaching as a profession to build a positive outlook and learning culture within and beyond the school domain 7 strand 3 professional links with colleagues so there are competency indicators on each career stage so those career stages are beginning teacher, profession teachers, highly profession teachers, and distinguished teachers. So in beginning teachers, the competency indicators in this strand is that uh, the teachers will seek opportunities to establish professional links with colleagues. While in okay, while in profession teachers, so the competency the competency indicators is the teachers will participate in professional networks to share knowledge and to enhance practice. While in highly profession teachers, the competency indicators in these uh, career stages is the teachers will the teachers will contribute actively to professional networks within and between schools to improve knowledge and to enhance practice. And lastly, the, the distinguished teachers. Um, the teachers will take a leadership role in supporting colleagues in engagement with professional networks within and across the school to advance knowledge and, and practice in identified areas of need. So these are the com competent these are the competency indicators on each car stage for this strand num uh, for this strand three. Strand 7.4, uh, it is all about a professional reflection and learning to improve practice. So the competency indicators for 7.4.1 under the beginning teachers, that is that you will demonstrate uh, about the understanding of how professional reflection and learning to improve practice. Next, the 7.4.2, which is under the profession teacher level, uh, developing personal improvement plan. Next, the 7.4.3, which is the initiating and promoting opportunities, which is under the highly proficient teachers. And lastly, in under the distinguished teachers, 7.4.4, the competency indicator is that you will demonstrate uh, about leadership within and across context. Fifth strand or the professional Strands and the career stages in the domain seven. 
So let's start with this strand 7.1, which talks about philosophy of teaching. So in the beginning, teachers, it is when this stage is that the teacher is about to show his or her personal philosophy of teaching that aims to achieve a learner-centered environment or teaching. So in the next um, career stages or career stage, which is, which is the profession teachers, in this stage, it is where the teacher um, apply apply the philosophy or his or her philosophies that targets a learner-centered type of teaching. So in the beginning teachers, you are just going to show to your students what is um, your ideas or what are your philosophies of learning or learn philosophies of learner-centered teaching wherein the proficient teachers you can you were you already applied your philosophies more than showing it or more than displaying it to your students so the next one is the highly proficient teachers so highly proficient teachers in this stage is that it is also important to, to, to manifest manifest your philosophies not just applying it but you're also manifesting your own philosophies because your philosophies will not just be defined in the four areas of the classroom but it can also be defined by your actions by your actions to encourage others to enhance their own philosophy of teaching so the next one is the distinguished teachers which is the last career stage so the last career stage talks about being a model so being a model a role model not just to your students but also to your co-teachers as well because being a role model you can just or you cannot just become a teacher by just being a teacher you you become a teacher because you can influence you can influence influence someone not just your students but specifically other teachers to engage themselves further in professional learning for them to have their own philosophies of teaching that aims to have a learner-centered teaching or learner-centered environment. In the first career stage, which is the beginning teachers, teachers must know that this stage is the preparatory stage which he or she must possess the behaviors that upholds the dignity of teaching as a profession by having the qualities such as the caring attitudes towards the students, not just for the students, but also to her colleagues and to the people around her. Respect and integrity. The second stage is the profession teacher. After showing the great behaviors that a teacher must possess, in this stage, the teachers will adopt the different practices that upholds the dignity of teaching as a profession by also having the great qualities such as caring attitudes, respects, and integrity. And the third stage is highly proficient teacher. After the teacher must adopt the different practices, the teachers must identify and utilize its own personal strengths to strengthen the dignity of teaching as a profession to help build positive teaching and learning culture within the school. The last stage is being a distinguished teacher. So in this stage, after processing the three stages of career stage, teacher should act as a role model to, to her or his student, but not just to her or his student, but also to his or her colleagues and to the other people that surrounds her. And he or she must be an advocate for upholding the dignity of teaching as a profession to build a positive teaching and learning culture within and beyond the school. So, Domain 7, Strand 3, Professional Links with Colleagues. So, there are different in competence indicators on each career stage. So, in beginning teachers, in this stage, the teachers will seek or find opportunities in order to establish professional links with colleagues. The next in profession teachers, so after the teachers will seek or find ways or find opportunities, so the teacher will now participate in professional network to 
share his or her knowledge and to enhance practice. While in highly professional teacher, so after the teacher seek opportunities and and participate, so it is important to contribute. So this is the time that this is the career stage where uh, whereas the teacher will contribute actively in professional networks within and between in schools to improve to improve to improve knowledge and to enhance teachers' practice. While lastly in this distinguished teachers so so this is the last career stage and the teachers so after the after the teacher will seek opportunities participate and contribute so the teachers will take a leaders leadership role in supporting colleagues engagement with professional networks to practice and advance their knowledge on their area of needs so in this uh, in this part, so this is the part where the teachers will take a leadership role. So as you can notice that there are differences on uh, competence indicators in each stages and those are the things that they needed to do to, to, to proceed on, on those career stages. So let us now compare and contrast the uh, competencies of the uh, strand 7.4. From 7.4.1 to 7.4.4. So let us now begin to the beginning teacher level. So in 7.4.1, uh, this means that you will just demonstrate the understanding, your understanding, your per uh, perception of how a professional reflection and learning can be used to improve practice. Uh, so uh, it's because you are just a beginner, so you will not have any experiences yet. So as the years passes by, um, you will develop or have a progress of being a teacher because you will have an improvement plan. That improvement plan will be a guide, serves as a guide for you, uh, which is based on your reflection or your practice and ongoing professional learning of yours. And then, because of that experiences of yours, you will now initiate, you will first uh, share to your colleagues your knowledge, your experiences about being a teacher in the current field of how many years of being there. So because of that, you will promote learning opportunities with other colleagues, especially the, the beginning teachers, to, for them to improve their also up. Uh, to improve their practice and lastly because you initiated first you will now demonstrate the leadership you will now have the leadership skills within and across school context in critically evaluating practice and now you will set clearly the defined targets for professional development so there are differences in the competency indicators in each career stage. In the beginning teacher, the teacher should realize or understand the professional development course.